everybody, both YouTube and Facebook viewers, and today we're going to be looking at Physics 150. So, before we start, a little sort of physics disclaimer. So, uh, first you might be saying, Professor Saborno, what are you doing here without a marker? On your back or in your hand? Well, I do have markers, just in my pocket. See? Anyways... Uh, this is a sort of physical disclaimer, so... If you uh, look at them, so let's say we have the cosine wave here. And then we have the sine wave, which is going to be this brown color. Don't let the red cap deceive you. So, I believe that's what it looked like. So, you can see the crests and troughs are offset by exactly half a wavelength. Half a wavelength, everybody. So, we, uh, it's important to know that the, uh, these cannot be inter used interchangeably because uh, even though they're just offset by one half and they're the same graph. So, uh, just a thing to note that they cannot be used interchangeably in terms of physics because they mean different things. Anyways, uh, now let's get on to the actual math. By the way, just to lighten up the mood since it's Christmas time, I'm going to draw this Christmas tree in the corner. Also going to be doing a special uh, physics episode that kind of diverts from the curriculum we have today. Don't worry, December 26th we'll have a regular one. Anyway, uh, that's a very terrible Christmas tree. I only spent 15 seconds on it, so you can't blame me, but... Now, let's write what we need to. So, K, let's say we have A. Before we get to A maximum, we're uh, just to specify today's clear missing, we're going to try to find A maximum uh, using only a few variables, the equation of A maximum. So, A is equal to F over M. A is then equal to ne equal to negative kx over m. That's just to negative k uh, a over m cosine theta, or cosine omega t, I mean. Because theta is equal to omega t. These are, int or uh, these are sort of the angular forms, d, v, and t. Uh, now, we're going to try to find uh, a max based on a in our logic intuition. So minus kx over m, we know that x should be when the thing is fully stretched or a amplitude, meaning that the maximum would be a max is equal to negative ka over m, just like a is equal to negative kx over m kind of really easy to understand once those uh, bells ring in your brain or those switches click or whatever metaphor you use in whatever country you are in. Anyways, that gets us to the fact that A equals to A max which uh, uh, negative A max cosine omega t. Well, this omega can be 2 pi over t. Oh, I mean, uh, period. These are not interchangeable either. But anyways, it's, uh, it's a little unsimplified. So this is the equation that a max have inhabits. Very short concept, but it's a very fun one as well. So I believe we can solve for a max here. Uh, because a max is going to be equal to negative a divided by cosine of 2 
pi t over t or cosine omega t, whatever. So, that is the equation for a max, folks, using only the acceleration and omega and t, which usually will be given in some problems. We have a thing on a spring, a spring over here, and this is, we know it's k, it's k and we're going to set to, hmm, let's say 0.30, that's its stiffness factor if you don't know, then let's set x, uh, let's say that it's stretched up, uh, let's say that x, it's stretched up by about 0 0.2 meters. I believe this is Newton meter, so I, everything should be uh, good values right now. Then, let's say that we can set M to, hmm, what is it? One kilogram, I think that's also a good unit to use with meter. And then, finally, we're going to use uh, omega and T. Right now, omega, oh yeah, also uh, amplitude, I believe. Or no, we don't need that. We only need these. So, mm, now, let's set omega, let's set the, this angular velocity, since similar harmonic motion, it's just like uh, angular motion. We explored that in what lecture? I think it was the day before the day before yesterday. <sighs> Things get sloppy when you have no memory, okay? So, let's say omega is three right now, and the, the time is six. So, how do you find a max? Well, we don't know what a is, but we can easily find it, since we know that it's going to be negative kx over m. Now, negative kx over m is going to be equal to negative 0.3 times 0.2 is equal to, I believe, 0 0.06. Uh, and then you divide that by one kilo. So now, point, minus 0 0.06 divided by one, we can get that in our calculator. So let's turn this trusty thing on and negative 0 0.06, man, the buttons are stiff. Wait, what did that? Okay, uh, negative 0 0.06 divided by one. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. This is obviously just minus 0 0.06. Anyways, uh, this, now, we know A, we divide it by cosine of omega t. Omega times t is equal to 18, giving us what is cosine of 18? So, cosine 0.95. So now, we just divide minus 0 0.06, okay, minus 0 0.06 by what we got. Gives us uh, something very close to minus 0 0.06, obviously which gives us minus point zero six three zero eight. So, this is our answer. I'm going to show it to you in the calculator if you want. So, just for all our viewers, this is the calculator showing. So, now, that is a, both a problem about this subject and this subject all together. This is really a concept, not a subject. But thank you, everybody, for listening. This video was sponsored by Brilliant. E ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding oh, equal really? learning. Me. We believe anyone can learn yeah, anything. That's why our motto is oh, memorization wow. is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Wow.
Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. The first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So let's, let's fall, fall in love with math and science. Subscribe to Barry Science Lab. Subscribe to Barry Science.